What's up guys, my name is Mark Martinez and welcome to my YouTube channel, Pop Punk Present and Past. As you guys know, 2017 has just come to a close and it has been phenomenal for music. So today the video I have for you guys is gonna be my top 50, 50 songs of 2017. So one of my biggest rules here is gonna be I only allowed one song per any given release. I just made myself pick my favorite one, even if I had two, three, four that I thought could be on this list. These are entirely my opinions. Uh, not necessarily the songs I think are the most technically masterful, but for the most part, just the songs that I enjoyed the most. Also, I've attached a Spotify playlist down below that has almost all of these songs. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Top 50 songs of 2017. Coming in at number 50, we have Remo Drive with Art School off of their 2017 release, Greatest Hits. Completely riff driven, kind of feels like something Joyce Manor would write. Kind of those strained, lost vocals. A little bit like lo-fi on the production, but it's done purposefully. Catchy hook and it's just works at the end of the day. Big Sean definitely bounces back with this lead single off of his 2017 release, I Decided. This song is, just not technically that good, but it's just really jumpy. It's just catchy, and it, I, last night I took it L, but tonight I bounce back. Using L just kind of like added to like the memory, but also like the enjoyability. Next up, we have Milk Teeth with Owning Your Okayness off of the record Be Nice. Uh, this is just something that a lot of people need to learn to do own their okayness. Next up, we have another female on the list, Alex Leahy with Every Day's the Weekend off of the record I Love You Like a Brother. Very upbeat female, kind of pop punk, punk style feel, um, really energetic, and just a nice, fun, short track. Next up on the list, we have Miguel with the song Skywalker featuring Travis Scott off of his late 2017 release, War and Leisure. Okay, can we just call him Miguel? I just, the name just sounds so much better in Spanish. Miguel. Miguel. It's just Next up we have Eminem off of the not very good record Revival with the song Walk on Water featuring Beyonce. Uh, had to find a way to get Beyonce in this list to be honest. At 43 we have Cardi B with Bodak Yellow. I let him get what he want. He buy me Issa Laurent. Honestly anytime artists use like some sort of high fashion type reference I, I think it's pretty dope. In at 42, we have UK pop punkers Waster with the song Eastbound and Down. Off of the record, Red, Green, or In Between. This is just classic, poppy, squeaky clean, just upbeat, dance around, pop punk. Coming in at 41, we have Logic with 1-800-273-8255. Five, five. I think at this point we have all heard this song. If anybody out there is struggling with thoughts of suicide, um, any thoughts of self-harm, thoughts of depression, reach out for help. It doesn't necessarily have to be that number, but just reach out for help somewhere. There's people out there to help you, uh, people who care about your existence in this world, including me. I'll put my socials uh, somewhere. If you ever need someone to talk to, I, I'm here. I'm an open door. Come on in. In at 40, we have a Swedish rapper Young Lean with the track Red Bottom Sky off of his 2017 release, Stranger. At 39, we have the most overplayed song of the entire year, Luis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee featuring Justin Bieber with the song Despacito. Honestly, this song is completely annoying at this point, but it's just really good and catchy and just nice to listen to. In at 38, next we have the party anthem of the early part of the year, Future Mask Off off of his self-titled release. I'm sorry, but if you weren't at a single party this year jamming to this song, you pretty much weren't a part of 2017. Next up, we have the artist that probably made the party anthem of the latter part of the year. Uh, we have Lil Pump, not with Gucci Gang. We have his song, Boss. 
it just it just goes so hard. The the fact that it has the stupid iPhone ringtone in the beat. This this is like beautiful like fucking minute and a half song like garbage SoundCloud rap that's also really fucking good to listen to. Next up, we have Trophy Eyes with their only single released in 2017, the song Hurt. I watched them on Warp Tour. The floor was on fire. It felt like I was gonna die. Next up, we have ASAP Mob with Wrath. Like I was saying earlier, I like songs with clothing references. The song's literally all about Wrath Simmons. What more can you do? Next up, we have Aaron West in the Roaring Twenties with the only track they released this year, Orchard Park. This song just adds to the overwhelmingly emotional saga that is Aaron West. And especially these tracks that have to do with sports and have to do with um, kind of a fatherly connection through sports. It just, just really get to me and I like, I don't know, it's just... Next up, we have Tiger's Jaw with the song Guardian off of the record Spin. I don't know why this song is good. But it is, and it's repetitive, but I'm glad it is. Next up, we have, next, next up, we have Playboy Cardi with Magnolia off of his self-titled. It's repetitive, but it's so good. And the beat is kind of moving, but not in a driven way. It's a, it's kind of a flowing, the, the ad libs and the fucking, yo, Pierre, you want to come outside? He's like, no, bitch, I don't want to go outside. I'm grounded. And it's just a really good track. Next up, we have Jaden Smith with the song L off of his record, Sire. Jaden Smith definitely showed huge progression in his music. Next up, we have the story so far with their single out of it. Every time, every, 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 every time I listen to this song, the beginning just sounds like a Christmas song. Next up, we have Seaway with the song Apartment off of the record Vacation. This was not my favorite record of the year, but this song is just stupidly catchy and, and next up we have by far the artist of the year, Brockhampton, better than any rap group I've listened to. They do an incredible job of not sounding like a bunch of rappers rapping on one song. They actually sound like one cohesive artist. Coming up next, we have Jesse Rutherford with the song Barbie and Ken off of his record Ampersand. It's my favorite things about like kind of modern trappish rap kind of thing. It's it's cocky, it's upbeat, it's hype and it's just fun to listen to. Coming in at number 23, we have, of course, Taylor Swift with Gorgeous off of her 2017 release, Reputation. I love Taylor Swift. Next up, we have The Front Bottoms with the song Vacation Town off of their record, Going Gray. Everyone needs to listen to this because there's a couple things in there that are very worthy of Instagram captions. Ugh. DJ Khaled, I'm the one. Quavo, J Beebs, Chance, Lil Wayne. By the Wonder Years off of the Burst and Decay EP. The song is You in January Acoustic. My favorite lyric from this song is, I left the dishwasher running. I wanted there to be clean plates for you tonight. And if that doesn't explain love, then I don't know what does. Next up, we have kind of a cheating one. Uh, this record wasn't included on any of my stuff for 2016 because it literally came out at the very end on the jewels with their record RTJ3, the song I picked was Legend Has It. Okay, I'm kind of sorry for including this on the list, but it's- Future, off of his most definitely better release this year, Hendrix, we have the song Coming Out Strong featuring The Weeknd. The perfect showing of Future Hendrix with his R&B side, The Weeknd, 
This might be my favorite performance by The Weeknd on any track by him. A song that actually made it on President Obama's favorite songs. I know my friends over at r slash Frank Ocean will definitely confirm Obama wavy. We have none other than Frank Ocean with Chanel. Frank has the ability to make every heterosexual male within vicinity scream out the words, my guy pretty like a girl. Coming in at number 15, we have a familiar face or faces, I should say, Brock Hampton with the song Milk off of Saturation Uno. This song literally has the members uh, talking about their lives, talking about where they were before this boy band. This song was released as a single in 2016, so I didn't know whether to put it on this list, but it was on a record that was released in 2017. So, pull up and goes. Yeah, my diamonds are choker. Bah. Holding up, I with no holster. Bah. Read the ruler, diamond cooler. Cooler. This a rolling, not a mule. How fitting. In at number 13, we have horror punk rock band Creeper with their song Misery off of their record Eternity in Your Arms. If I'm being honest, I was absolutely riding Creeper this entire year. I've been telling everybody to listen to that record because it honestly is being underappreciated. We getting donuts, boys. Coming in at the number dozen, we have Silverstein with Retrograde, the lead single off of the record Dead Reflection. When you pair this and this and this, then you more than have my attention. In at number 11, off of the record Shapeshifter, we have one of my favorite artists, Knuckle Puck, with the song Want Me Around. Afraid to call and see what's good, or is it simply understood? There's a reason you don't want me around. Coming in at number 10, we have Neck Deep with In Bloom off of the record The Peace and the Panic. This song is the perfect execution of this style of song. If you want a light pop punk summary sing-along type song, I'm not saying it's the perfect song in, in, in all capacities, but if this is what you want, it does not get better. Coming in at number nine, we have, of course, the world's favorite emo rock star rapper, Lil Uzi Vert, with his song, EXO Tour Life, initially released as a single, but then on the record, Love Is Rage. Too. This song is just much too good to not include in your top whatever list. Coming at number eight, we have Movements with their song Deadly Dull off of the release Feel Something. His grandma died with Alzheimer's and his grandpa currently has Alzheimer's. And he specifically talks about in the song going to visit his grandpa and how he says that he wants to go see grandma and talk to her. And the fact that they have to break the news to grandpa of his wife's set every single week. It is just heartbreaking. Coming in at number seven, we have the ultimate H&M pop song. Off of his 2017 release, More Life, Drake gave us passion fruit. Can we just, the kind of Caribbean vibes he brings and poppy beats, this is honestly one of Drake's best tracks. I don't know who did production on this, but uh, if you don't love this song, I, I don't know how to help you. Just missing out on the top five, coming in at number six, we have, of course, the title exclusive, Jay-Z off of his record 444, the song, The Story of OJ. Jay-Z's introspection into the world of economics for brown and specifically black people is really something to hear. It's not always about buying this cool thing and buying this other thing. Sometimes it's about growing your family, growing your culture, growing your people. Please don't die over the neighborhood that your mama rentin'. Take your drug money and buy the neighborhood. That's how you rinse it. Breaking into the top five, we have one of the stars of 2017, Kendrick Lamar, off of his phenomenal record, Damn. We have my favorite song, Pride. His, his world as an African-American that grew up in Compton, that had these, these ideas and things set upon him, I think is absolutely phenomenal. And the song in general is just really good. And Kendrick just is just the man. Coming in at number four, we probably have a surprise to a lot of you guys. Phoebe Bridgers, off of her record, A Stranger in the Alps, we have Funeral. Phoebe Bridgers is fucking 
awesome. Her voice is so light and majestic and beautiful. My favorite lyrics from this song come from the second verse where she states, Last night I blacked out in my car and I woke up in my childhood bed, feeling sorry for myself, wishing I was someone else when I remembered someone's kid is dead. And literally any time I hear that lyric, my heart just drops and I want to start crying. We are now at the top three. Coming in at number three, we have the flower boy himself, Tyler the Creator, featuring Anne of the North, Frank, Frank Ocean, Ocean, and Steve, Steve Lacey. Lacey with the song 911. Mr. Lonely. Wow. Wow. Tyler is a fucking animal with this song. Frank is my dad. I don't even know who Anna of the North is, but she's my mom, and Steve Lacey is my fucking drunkle. Oh, it's catchy, it's poppy, it's sad, it's depressing, it's 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 everything. There's oh, there's so much going on in this track. It's it's almost hard to believe it's just one song. I sometimes I go to bed thinking about it, I'm like, wow. You know, that record by Tyler the Creator, 911 Mr. Lonely, is really good. I'm glad he released two records this year, that and Flower Boy. Fuck! Coming in at number two, for the third time on this list, because they released three albums, we have Brockhampton, off of Saturation 2, we have Junkie. The beat is disgusting. Kevin Abstract just goes in about his sexuality. Amir Van just goes in in about his drug abuse. Merlin just goes in with him dropping out of college. Fucking Joba spits some shit that I can't even keep up with. Matt Champion goes in about rape culture. Fucking so hard. And then Dom comes in at the end and just and the song just drops you on your head and it's like, we're done. And just, they just go away. And it's, oh my God, the song is immaculate. And here we are. We have gone through 40, nine songs, 49 of my absolute favorite songs of 2017, songs that I have been jamming to nonstop, songs that I've been screaming in my room, in my car. We're down to the last one. In my opinion, the best one, Frank Ocean, with his single, Biking, featuring Jay-Z and Tyler, the creator. What's up, guys? This is, um... This is post video mark just here editing the video i'm about done obviously since i'm at the end um but yeah so pretty much as you can see here i'm i am not saying shit there's so much mumbo jumbo dead ass the only reason i like this song is because there's some fucking gucci aces in the artwork like those are fucking hot they're fucking floral embroidery oh baby girl uh, if y'all want to donate so I can pick up a pair, um, there will be a GoFundMe in the link down below. Thanks. My favorite line in this song being, my first wedding that I've been in my 20s, thinking maybe someone is not something to own. Maybe the government got nothing to do with it. Maybe the feeling just comes and it goes. I felt that! Thank you guys so much for sticking around this entire video. I appreciate that incredibly. Remember, there is a playlist down below where you guys can listen to all 50 of my favorite songs of this year in playlist form. If you enjoyed the video, please drop it a like. Go ahead and comment your top five, top 10, top 20 songs of the year down below. If you like my content, please subscribe. It dope to subscribe. Remember to hit me up on social media and we can talk music however you'd like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Remember to do fun things and to stay beautiful. Oh!